Welcome back for the Pitter Meme Haunting Part 2 and this week we're going to discuss not one but two photographs we have of uh, ghostly apparitions. Now as we go back to um, Part 1 I was mentioning the clock tower in Pitter Meme I had. The building itself was built in 1620. Pitter Meme at that time was a very rich area and it needed its own court, parish court, and a council building to do debates in. So this was built so, and uh, the building uh, is 100 feet uh, high. It consists of a dungeon, four other rooms, with a spiral staircase going all the way up. It, as we, as we mentioned in, in Pitomine Part 1, there was a walkway from the first floor into the church next door. And um, this is where we're, we're going to talk now. I had, I had the, the building specifically because I wrote The Ween Witch, which was a, the history of the, the five witch trials they had in Pit and Ween. And they all took place inside that building as a jail and a courthouse and, and a torture chamber. So this is the, the means of me. Uh, I would come up from London once a month and I would take people into the tower and do a tour. You could do a tour of uh, 16 people maximum of uh, the rooms where it all took place, where all the horrible deeds took place. And of course I have, have the torture weapons that were used on these poor individuals. So, and actually put them on, I have a ball and chain here. And we would, we would put them on our guests as, as I do the tour and um, it became successful uh, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's there to sell a book, I'm promoting a book so we had all kinds of media people, um, newspapers etc all, all, all coming in over the years. Now this, this is 2006 I, 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 had, I started off the, the, the tower and I had it up until 2018 but um, my next book my next book on the, on the pipeline had come out in, in 2016 and it was the, about a battle that fought along the coast here, the Battle of St Monans. And uh, I'd written the book but I needed photographs for a cover. So um, there's an old castle, Newark Castle, right on the coastline, right on the cliff top on a peninsula and this is where the battlefield was fought. So. I wanted to go there and uh, photograph the hell at the place and, and get some photographs from my book. So that's what I did. Now, um, we went there on a, a July Saturday uh, morning and uh, I walked in and out of the castle. There's no one there but me. I walked in and out of the castle and I got what I needed. But the strange thing is, uh, in the photographs, in one of the photographs, I have the strange picture of uh, the castle with a, a great big black shadowy bit in the end of the photograph. Now, if you zoom into that shadow, there's a figure standing there. It looks like a woman with her um, a woman with her back to you, with her, her, her sleeves that rolled up, walking into the kitchen area of the castle. It looks like an old fisherwoman. How they used to look. Um, this castle is renowned for having a grey lady. The castle, the castle used to belong to the Sandyland family, big barons of, of the east coast, and it fell into ruin about 1700s. Uh, since then, it's been gradually becoming even worse of a ruin, and today it's it's a it's a hazard. Uh, the castle, with, with, with being so high on the peninsula, the wind just knocks everything over. So. Um, there is a history of a haunting there of a grey lady. Have I captured this grey lady? Um, this photograph uh, went in the newspapers and went round the world. Um, if you watch uh, YouTube on Slapped Ham, it, uh, it's number one on one of their ghost pictures, which uh, I'm very honoured to be part of. Uh, so I've got something incredible there. Have a look at the photograph. It's up now. See what you think. 
Now, we're back to my tours. In, in the clock tower, um, because of the photograph I just caught at Newark Castle, I, I did my latest tour and what I fancied doing was going over to the castle with all my equipment and spending the night there and see if I can catch this woman again that we caught on camera. Uh, so I did a tour in the, in the building. It lasts about an hour and a half, go through the five rooms. Um, what I must make sure before I close up the door, because I've got the only key, is that everybody's out and I have locked people in before by mistake. And you know, my next stop's London, so it's not such a good thing if they're going to be stuck inside the building for the next uh, few days. But anyway, so I, I have to go through the building and check all the rooms, make sure they're empty before I go my way off to Newark Castle for my, my night of vigilance. So anyway, uh, I had a new camera. Um, there's no lighting in the tower whatsoever, so it's all artificial camera uh, camera lights and, and uh, torches. So uh, I went down the spiral staircase from the roof into each room, and just as a patting, uh, patting shot, I'd put my camera up and I'd take a photograph in every room, start at the fourth floor, take a photograph, go down the stairs, third floor, photograph, down the stairs, photograph, and, and that's what I did. I went to York Castle, and in York Castle, uh, it was a bad night. It was there was a it was a cold night. It was very still. I caught absolutely nothing uh, worth looking at, uh, worth, worth interest in the, uh, in the in the in the castle. I got, I got worst I got was a cold bum. That was it. But that's the that's the joys of uh, of being an investigator. Uh, going through the going through the hundreds of photographs the next day. I had absolutely nothing from the castle, nothing was caught whatsoever of interest. But I did have these four photographs I took from uh, the tower on, my, on, on leaving the building. And uh, I was going through these four photographs, uh, there was nothing much to see at all. Except one photograph was very peculiar, it was black. Um, I was erasing everything as I was going and uh, one of the photographs shows kind of uh, quite light, um, crisp little, little effect at the bottom of the, of the photograph. I was about to erase it when um, I turned the photo the right way around and I thought there's something there. So I enlightened the photograph. When I enlightened the photograph, something appeared and then I lightened it again. And of course, this figure came out of the photograph. This photograph was taken no more than two meters away from me and as you can see, it's the photograph of a woman. There's a woman standing there. This woman was not in the tower. This is a, a legitimate photograph of what's inside the tower haunting it. And we've got a photograph of a woman there. It looks like a woman. It's, it's, it's a beautiful photograph and it's been in a few newspapers now. But uh, did we capture what's haunting the tower? I think we did. I hope you're enjoying these, these videos. We have, this will be our 18th one we have on our page and um, we, do, we do them simply for you. If you enjoy them, please subscribe. It's what helps us out. We know we're actually worthy of these, these films. Um, my, my editor's just joined us here. This is Floki, Floki the cat. Um, our next video will be our last one on Pit and Weem. We will introduce you to the Shouty Man classic photograph of a, of a, a ghost and our, whole, our very own holy ghost which has caused me more trouble than you could imagine from the church and that's a story on its own. Uh, thanks again and please subscribe.